this is Empress Virgo of Empress Virgo Tarot back again with another reading. This time it is a romantic love reading for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, placements for whenever you guys happen to watch this reading and it resonates with your particular situation. Then there may be a message in the reading for you guys. I hope you guys are staying healthy, happy, and safe out there. And I appreciate all the love and the support that you guys give to me and to the channel. It is much appreciated. Okay, so let's get into the cards. Messages do you have for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements for whenever they happen to watch this timeless love reading? As always, guys, make sure you take only the messages that resonate with you in your particular situation. If the messages don't apply, let them apply, okay? But if they do apply to you in your particular situation, consider liking the video, sharing the video, and subscribing to the channel. We would love to have you as a member of the Soul Tribe, alright? Okay. We have long distance, so some of y'all may be in, in a long distance relationship or have been in one or might be possibly getting into one. Yeah, this is with someone new, okay? They might be far away from you right now. Mature woman, you're, either you're the mature woman or you're getting into a relationship with a mature woman. But I feel like that's you, the brunette, okay? Or vice versa, they got resonance, destiny. Yeah, right now you're a wallflower, okay? You're probably uh, being in hermit mode or focusing on work, career, business, and you feel like you don't have time for love. But Spirit said you're destined to meet someone pretty soon, okay? Someone who's going to play a part in a relationship, okay? All right. King of Swords and the Ace of Wands, okay? So possibly a King of Swords, a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, or Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. So let's see. Divine Holy Spirit, what messages do you have for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements for whenever they have us to watch this time? Let's love reading. Straight out the gate, we have the Princess of, of Coins, okay. The Eight of Swords, okay. The Four of Cups, okay. The Two of Wands, okay. The Nine of Wands. The Magician. The Hanged Woman. The Queen of Wands. And the Star. Look, y'all are right now, for some of y'all, y'all might have ended a long-term relationship or um, if not recently but um in the recent past um but this is how you're sitting right here like i said some of y'all don't want to be bothered you're focusing on work you're focusing on business you're focusing on stacking your money you're focusing on trying to heal yourself and a lot of y'all feel like y'all don't have time to be bothered but for some of y'all you're going to meet someone who's a traveler or who actually travels for business okay and this you're going to meet this person while you're at the end of a rough cycle coming up okay yeah you have no idea that this person is coming most of y'all are focused on rebuilding yourself um rebuilding yourself financially uh, a heavy heavy um focus on career for the pisces placements um i feel like some of y'all might be recovering after a divorce you might feel like you're trapped in your obligations or for some of y'all, y'all feel like how you can't believe what you just went through in your recent breakup or the recent past that you're just trying to get yourself out of that stuck mode, that feeling of feeling like you're a victim or feeling like how could this happen? I feel like you're easing out of that disappointment with the four cups in there. It's like a relationship did not work out, a long-term relationship or a marriage that uh you thought had potential but it didn't work out full of cups okay i feel like y'all are moving on for some of y'all y'all might be moving somewhere different or new and that's where you'll meet your new person for others of y'all you might meet someone who travels for a living 
and you're going to be very hesitant even though you manifested this person into your life okay and vice versa you're like okay i got enough going on as it is how a lot of y'all are feeling like you have enough going on as it is how are you going to manage a long distance relationship but you have no idea that you manifested this and you can handle it the magician energy here virgo and gemini energy okay a little bit of leo mixed in there uh a lot of y'all are going to procrastinate or drag your feet when it comes on comes comes to me <laughs> when it's going to come around to making a decision of whether you're going to truly dive into this relationship you know that the person has is checking off your boxes you know that they make you feel like the queen of wands instead of the queen of swords but you're still healing and you're like wait a minute can i have a relationship while i'm healing yeah okay but you it's like you can't wrap your mind around the fact that someone came while you're still healing or while you're still working on yourself or while you're still getting your career together or while you're still trying to do something for yourself okay uh for a lot of y'all y'all feel feel like you're in a funk and you don't know how to get out of it spirit is telling you that you're ready and this person is a really big signal that you are ready okay to get out of that funk and that you have healed enough okay interesting okay that's interesting let me see if i need to clarify anything let's see let's clarify the nine of wands spirit and spirit pisces placement this is your card for the pisces sun signs but for whoever is watching it it's saying that you're, you're going to have to change your mind and your perspective on love in order for you to move forward because you might miss out on someone who is really good fit for you. Let's see. Let's clarify the nine of wands. Okay, that came out quick. Okay, let's see what we got here. It's two. The queen of wands and the knight of swords. This person, yeah, is throwing you off because this person came very quickly, like seemingly out of nowhere, and how they make you feel like you're everything to them, but you don't trust it for some of y'all just saying okay you don't trust what you what the signals that are being given to you you don't trust the messages you don't trust the signs and you're like i don't know what i'm gonna do two of ones in reverse okay because you don't want to end up with someone like that king of pentacles in reverse but spirit is saying you have to trust your own intuition you have to trust uh the lessons that you've been through if your intu intuition is telling you see where this goes then see where it goes if your intuition is telling you to back off from it and let it go do what's best for you okay all right so that is all i have for pisces sun moon rising and venus placements i hope you guys enjoyed the reading if you did give the video a thumbs up share subscribe join our tribe hit the notification bell and i'll see you guys in the next video bye guys